Good morning, guys. We are here in Catania, the second largest city in the island of Sicily. If you watched my previous video, I showed everything on how we managed to get here in 2021 in the middle of a pandemic. I think it's really interesting, so you guys should check that out. Today, we are going to explore the city. I'll take you guys along, and we are going to start at the biggest market here in the city, La Pesqueria. Let's go. is the main market here in Catania. It's very interesting to see how lively the crowd here is and uh, you see like random swordfish heads everywhere. The market is located right next to the main square here of Catania, the Piazza Duomo. Sicily is an island that has influences from Greece, from the Arab world and from other different parts of the Mediterranean. So you can see a little bit of those different tastes also here in the market. So you can find different legumes, vegetables and spices from all of these regions as well as of course Lots of seafoods everywhere. Look, they even have horse sandwiches. Do you want to try it? Uh, maybe later. And the island of Sicily is obvious, very famous for the seafood. We are gonna try now one of these deep fried seafood cones that they have here, right next to the market. Right here next to the street market, there is this place called Sirocco, and they claim to be a place that offers fried fish uh, in a sort of like typical traditional uh, Sicilian style. The view is not the most pleasant, but I'm sure that the fish is gonna be good since it came straight from the market. And sorry for the loud noise, by the way, but that's what you get here at the Sicilian street market. So we have calamari, we have squid, some octopus, some fish. The smell is so good. So fresh, so tasty. This is so good. Absolutely incomparable. What I also like about it is that they just put a little bit of coating on top. Like it's not too much, it's not overwhelming for the fish. Overwhelming for the fish. <laughs> it's not overwhelming so it just enhances the flavor of the fish itself. So completely approved. Guys, this is the real deal. If you want really good quality seafood, come to Sicily. Oh, look at the blue sky, no clouds, nothing. Just beautiful blue sky. It's super hot right now, it's 12 o'clock and before we continue with the itinerary we have to stop to have some typical Sicilian granita. So we just arrived here at the cafe Il Pristipino. This is the place to go if you're looking for like nice typical pastries of this region. I'm talking about it, they are arriving now. The granita is a semi-frozen dessert made with uh, water, sugar and in this case pistachio but it can also have with different flavors like lemon, strawberry and some other fruits of the region. And what is interesting is that depending on which part of the island you are the consistency of the granita can change. So for example here in Catania the consistency is a little bit more like a sorbet but then in Palermo the consistency is a little more chunky. In terms of flavor, we definitely made the right choice. Just what I needed. Right, perfect. Wow, and the interior of this place is so beautiful. Okay, if I wasn't full right now, I would definitely try one of these. All the action here in Catania happens here at the Piazza del Duomo. 
The Piazza del Duomo is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, surrounded by buildings in the typical Baroque style. Wait, we found something here in the middle of the way. What is this? Look guys, some ancient amphitheater right here in the middle of the city. How crazy. It's an amphitheatro romano. So it was built in the second century, but it was already abandoned by the fifth century, but then in the 17th century. Because of an uh, earthquake, it was all covered. So we are looking for a place to get some wine of the region. We are gonna stop here at this cafe. It's supposed to be really good. So let's see if they have wine. We got here this big plate of antipasti. It's like different things. They have the arancini, they have like some vegetables, aubergine. What is this? I have no idea. I have no idea what any of them are, but it looks good. This huge plate of antipasti plus the wine, it's only 10 euros in total. This is insane. Including With the water. There's a church here with a really nice rooftop. We tried to go a little earlier, but then because of the siesta, so to say, uh, they were closed, but apparently now they are already open. We are getting there now. Yes, they are open, so I'm excited. in the church now we are going to the top of the dome <laughs> it's a little claustrophobic here it's super small you have like no space one thing those people love coca-cola <laughs> everyone is drinking like ordering whole bottles of coca-cola and bringing it everywhere the volcano oh, imagine seeing it erupt from here <sighs> wait a minute I'm trying to I regain my breath over here, <sighs> especially after this wine. One thing we noticed since we arrived here in Catania is that we keep on seeing these weird ashes everywhere. And we couldn't really like understand like why is it that the city is full of these like gray ashes everywhere. So look guys, there at the end is the biggest volcano in Europe, the Mount Etna. And look over here on the floor. We were very surprised to know that these are actually the ashes from the volcano. We literally saw these ashes everywhere, like on top of cars, on the middle of the roads, everywhere. But anyway, we came here all the way to the top of the church to enjoy the view and look how amazing it is. I'm so impressed about the view here, like you can literally see the whole city. Like all the churches, all the monuments. Maybe this is also a really good tip for you. If you want to come to Catania, maybe you should start here because then you have a whole overview of the city. All of Catania from here, the ports, the cathedral and so much more. And look, more volcanic ashes here on the floor. Oh, feels so soft. Yes, touch it. Can't believe I'm touching volcanic ashes. You know when you arrive in a new country and you receive a text message from the telephone company saying, I don't know, like how much you have to pay uh -huh. to send a text message or whatever. So look, this is what they sent to us. Benvenuto. Stop con la dieta. Sei in Italia. Yeah. Like, welcome. Stop, Stop with your diet. diet. You are in Italy. One thing we notice about Catania is that things start to happen a little bit later here. So now five o'clock, six o'clock, that's when people are starting to come out of their houses. You can see much more movement and many more people on the streets. Like it's so much more lively now. The street was completely dead just a few hours ago. So yeah. 
All of these you see here on the floor are the ashes from the volcano, especially that part, do you see that? And even here on top of the cars. Well, good luck to the car owner because this is gonna be a little tough to clean, right? We've been exploring since this morning and now we are a little tired, so we are just gonna go back to the hotel to freshen up a little bit. We are gonna change our clothes and later on we are gonna go to one of the best rooftop bars here where they have like some happy hour aperitivo, which seems uh, very attractive. So back to the hotel now, change it up, rest a little bit and then we will continue. See you guys in a bit. So it's currently 8 p.m. Almost time for sunset here in Sicily. It has been very hot the entire day. But now we actually have a very nice breeze from the sea. We are now on the way to this really cool rooftop bar. The streets now are super busy compared to how it was just a few hours ago. So the rooftop bar is located right on the top of this hotel. a little bit. There is a little bit of a smoke coming out of the volcano. I, we have no idea if that's actually coming from the volcano or if it's still somewhere behind, but it's probably from the volcano. So look at this, a few days ago there was this big eruption there and then before that, no this was the day before yesterday. Crazy. That's why the city is full of ashes everywhere. <laughs> Let's look at this, we were just checking the news and this happened two days ago. Insane. Wow, this is crazy. And it's so close to us. It's beautiful though. Yeah, it's beautiful. Grazie. How often do you get to enjoy a cocktail with a smoking volcano in the background? Usually when I travel I like to research like the best restaurants with the most affordable price. Everywhere people are recommending this place. It's called Me Compare to Redo, it's some sort of like Sicilian slang and it's supposed to mean something on the lines of like my buddy. This place specializes in slow Sicilian food. They have a lot of donkey on the menu. Donkey? Donkey. <laughs> yeah, I am not that adventurous so I'll skip it for today. We just found some ashes here from the volcano. That's crazy. Some roasted veggies with some goat cheese. 